how to do baby led weaning while going out to eat. I know, I'm like, since when do you get large? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do a how to do baby led weaning while going out to eat. I actually got this question from someone who asked me how I eat with Ezra, my son, uh, when I go out to eat. If you didn't know, we're doing, or we did, baby led weaning. I have several videos, which I'll link up here for you guys to click to see what our first five days were like and just what he eats uh, on a daily. He is now 17 months old, so we've been doing baby led weaning for a while. And at this point, I'm pretty pro at going out to eat. We are in the pandemic, however, I felt comfortable taking him out to outdoor seating or outdoor eating. There's a few tips and tricks that I found along the way and I wish I had this video when I was starting out with baby led weaning because I had no idea how to take the concept of baby led weaning when you're going out to a restaurant. But it's actually pretty simple and you can use a lot of the same concepts that you use at your home to go when you're eating out. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. I'm going to break this up into several sections, the first section being food prep. So if you're like me, I actually prep all of Ezra's food uh, Sunday and Monday night. That way I can he just heat up throughout the day and throughout the week because I'm so busy. I'm a working mom and Ezra also goes to see his grandparents three days a week. And I like to make him fresh food. That way he eats healthy, he doesn't have added sugars or salts. And I guess I'm just a little extra like that. So what I do is the day I know I'm going out to eat, I actually prep extra food. So normally Ezra has three food options. He usually has a vegetable, a protein, and a starch. Obviously that varies depending on what I'm cooking that week. But when I go out to eat, I usually have two or three extra items because when you go out to eat, you know that you're gonna be sitting there longer. It's, you're gonna be waiting for them to bring you the food and you wanna be able to enjoy your meal. So I found the best way to keep Ezra happy is to give him extra food and food that he likes. So usually that's fruits um, and certain vegetables. So I'll make sure I bring extra of those. So before I leave, I prep all of the food, I heat it up, I cut the fruit if it needs to be cut, and then I package it into a Tupperware or Ziploc bags. That way I have everything ready. So I use the Easy Peasy mats for Ezra at home, and what's nice about these is that you can take them to go. So that was one thing I wasn't sure about when I ate out is what eating wear to use. So I just use the mini mat here, and I put a little bit of the food pre load it onto his plate and then I just separately buy the easy peasy lid that goes on top and then I just put this on and it basically acts as like a Tupperware that you can take your food out. So this is really clutch to have. That way when you go out you have already a pre-made plate for your baby. Now, it's not spill proof, it's made of silicone, so it's very bendable. Um, so that's why I like to pack it flat on top of the Tupperware, which has the extra food. So normally I have a plate of food with Ezra at home that I, I refill his, his, his plate from, but when you're out, obviously you don't have that. So instead I put all of his extra food into a Tupperware or like I said, Ziploc bags. And then when he asks for more, I just replenish it onto his mat. And what's good about these is that they do suction to tables, that way he won't pick it up and fling it off somewhere else. All right, I've laid out everything that I need to go out. Here's the wet bag, his plate and lid, extra Tupperware to store the food, extra bag to store the fruits, sanitizing wipes, and then this is all his food. I'm gonna heat up this stuff, and then cut these items, put them in here, and then we'll be all set to go. Thank you. 
All right, here's all his food. I'm gonna initially give him this plate, and then once he's ready, I will refill from this Tupperware, and then I have my two extra fruits, which I know he'll like as extra food to keep him occupied. Okay, so the next thing that I do is packing all of the items. So once everything's heated up and packed away, I usually use one of these like tote bags. I have this one here. I kind of like this one because it allows everything to sit flat because you don't want anything to spill. So I just pack everything into a bag. And one thing I found that's very helpful is having a wet bag. So these are just from Amazon. I'll also be sure to link everything in my Amazon storefront down below. But these wet bags are good because they're meant to get dirty. So I actually bought these for dirty diapers or if we're out and he has a blowout or he spits up or anything. But they're actually great for eating out. So the inside material can, is waterproof and it has two zippers and two pockets. So usually um, I pack this. I pack his bib, his silicone bib to catch all his food. I pack, like I said, his mini mat and the lid, and I also pack, I'll have Tupperware and Ziploc bags of food. I also bring sanitizing wipes because, you know, we're in that COVID time. I also have this, it's a like multi-use cover, but you can use it for nursing, you can use it for high chair covers, you can use it for shopping carts. It's basically like a dress that you can put over them and I like to use this to protect Ezra from touching the side of the tape, the side of the high chair, which could be dirty even though I do sanitize it. And it also helps to catch some food because as you know, when babies are eating, especially when they're learning to eat, they're often dropping food out of their mouth that's not caught by the bib or they're tossing food on the side. So this helps keep everything kind of clean. And then when I'm done, I just throw it in the wash, very easy. I also bring extra plain baby wipes to wash his hands and face when he's done eating because it is messy. And I also bring these placemats. So they are disposable placemats that have sticky sides that you can tape onto the table. Then you can put his their plate right on top. So I have tested and the easy peasy plates do stick on top of these placemats so that you're not gonna be able to rip, the baby is not gonna be able to rip it off and throw it. So. What I also like about this is that Ezra used to throw or toss his food on his left side if he didn't like it or if it was kind of more of just a reaction. Like he would taste something and then he might just drop it off on the side for like to pick up later. And I didn't want that falling onto the actual table. So that's why I like these mat placemats because it would fall onto the placemat and then I could easily pick the food up and put it back on his plate or he could grab it later. And he also just likes to grab all over the table whenever he's eating. So this keeps it clean and I can throw it away after. It's not the most eco-friendly option. I couldn't find something that sticks to the table, which makes sense. That's reusable because it wouldn't, I don't think something like that would stick to that, like a cloth material or like a silicone material. So, I mean, I don't eat out that often with Ezra. So, you know, there's like a pack of 60 of these or something, so they'll last you a while. And I know it's not great for the environment, but it was the best option that I could find. Okay, now it's time to pack. Okay, so now I wanna talk about what happens when I'm at the restaurant. And I'll insert clips of us eating out at a restaurant so you can see exactly what I do. But basically I sanitize the high chair and the area with those sanitizing wipes. And then one other key thing is that you don't put the baby into the high chair until it's actually time to eat. So usually my husband or my parents or someone else will help let Ezra run around. Uh, before when he was a, 
when he couldn't walk yet, we had a bassinet feature of our stroller so he would kind of sit and crawl around in there. Basically, you don't put them in the high chair until they're really ready to eat because otherwise they're gonna get fussy and they're not gonna enjoy their time there. So usually he's running around and once the food comes, we put him in, strap him in, put his bib on, put that high chair cover over him and then scoot him up to the table and then he's ready to eat. And whenever he asks for more, I just replenish it from my Tupperware into his plate and offer him milk when he asks for it. So that's pretty much it for eating out. And when he's done, I just take away everything. I throw away the extra food that wasn't eaten. And that's why it's good to have the wet bag. I just toss everything back into the wet bag and I zip it up and put it in my bag and then nothing gets dirty. And when I get home, I wash all the dishes and I wash the wet bag and the high chair cover. That's why you also it's also good to have the baby wipes to wipe their mouth and hands. And then my husband usually takes him to the bathroom to do a fuller clean. And the mess is pretty minimal, especially when you have the placemat. He will often throw food on the ground, so I try to pick up the big chunks so that's not as messy for the people that work there, but you can only do so much. Uh, large. Large. Okay. Or you gonna get number two, the oxo, regular, no cilantro. Mm -hmm. And uh, number 33, large. Do you need something to drink? Uh... Just water, no ice? Water? Yeah, just two, oh, two arms. Okay. Thank you. Give me a few minutes, please. Mm -hmm. Should I push him? I'll let him walk around. You willing to whatever the cry is sure. What? I'm busy right now. Too complicated. It's like is there's different broth. Okay, Ezra, let's pray. Do you have any father we can put today that we can eat out and have a nice meal? And Ezra will sleep well and do do good today in Jesus' name. Amen. And the food be nourishing to our bodies. Okay, Ezra, ready to eat. You don't care for any of this stuff, right? Nope. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Big. That's a strawberry. Yeah. Strawberry. You want some milk? Thank you for helping me clean up. Oops. So do you want me to help you or no? She's already wiped, huh? Yeah. You actually pay up front, so I don't know if you want to do that. Fine, but I'm not ready yet. tips for eating out with baby led weaning. As a reminder, I'll link everything below. That way you can see what items I use and what I found was very helpful. Let me know if you have any questions below or if you have other questions re related to baby led weaning. And if you have any other video ideas, please let me know because I want to make videos that are serving you guys, my subscribers and my viewers. As usual, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more content and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! The fact that I love you so